Dimensional analysis is when you're changing the units, like going from feet to miles or inches to yards. So today I want to share with you a quick and strategic method to deal with dimensional analysis. So we'll look at converting one unit, but then we'll also look at converting two units, such as feet per second into miles per hour. First thing you're going to want to do is find a resource sheet that works for you. I really like this one because it has a lot of information. We have metric in the middle. We also have American to metric on the top and metric to American on the bottom. You've got your time with hours and minutes and seconds. You also have weight and mass, temperature formulas, and also capacity. Another great visual for capacity is gallon man here. G represents one gallon. Q is how many quarts, which are four in a gallon. The P represents pints and C is cups. So it's a good visual way to see how they all work together. When you only have to change one unit of measure, we only have to multiply by one unity fraction. The unity fractions are going to be found on your resource sheets. This is already known information. So here are a few examples. The first one, how many miles will the person run in 10 kilometer race? So the first thing we want to do is we're going to change kilometers to miles. So we want to make sure that the kilometers are across from each other so those units cross out and the miles are going to pop out. If the number is on top, you would multiply, and if the number is on bottom, you would divide. So your answer to this case would be 6.21. The next question asks us to convert miles to feet. So we're going to make sure we set up a unity fraction with miles on the bottom and feet on the outside. Since it's on the top, we're going to be multiplying. But in our calculator, I ended up with 1.32 times e to the ninth. And what does that mean? Well, it means it's a really, really big number. And they give it to you in scientific notation if there is not enough zeros in your calculator. And so what this number actually is going to be is 1,320,000,000 feet. When you're late for class and you're hustling across campus, how fast are you actually moving in miles per hour? We laid out a tape measure the other day and we timed ourselves for 100 feet of speed walking. Now we're going to convert that into miles per hour. One student said it took them 13 seconds to go 100 feet. So what we need to do is we need to change feet to miles and seconds to hours. This is going to require two unity fractions. So we want to make sure we have plenty of space. The first one, we're going to go feet to miles. We're going to make sure feet are across from each other so that they'll cross out and the miles will pop out. The next, we're going to make sure our seconds are across from each other and our hours are going to be on the bottom. And remember, we're getting these unity fractions from those resource sheets. This is already known information. Now, we are going to multiply these unity fractions, going to multiply the top numbers, and then multiply the bottom numbers, and then divide at the very end to get our final answer. If you're a fan of our northern neighbors, like I am, you might end up doing some metric conversions. If you were going from American or customary to metric, you have to do use our unity fractions. But if you're going to convert just within the metric system, it's really easy. And I usually use the acronym King Harry Died Unusually Drinking Chocolate Milk. Each one represents a part of the metric system. And when we go between them, we're either moving the decimal to the right or to the left. One thing you need to notice is that the meters, liters, and grams are our base unit, and they're located right in the middle, but the U really doesn't represent them. So let's look at a couple of examples. First, I'm going to be going kilometers to meters. So I'm going to start with kilometers, and I'm going to move one, two, three spaces to the right. If I'm going to go from milliliters to liters, I'm going to start way over where the M is, and I'm going to travel to the left, one, two, three, to get to liters, which is going to be right in the middle. Okay, so that's it for dimensional analysis. So remember, if you're converting within the customary or American system, the easiest way is going to be using those unity fractions. Also, if you're converting between American and Canadian or metric, you're also going to want to use unity fractions. If you're just converting within the metric system, though, no unity fraction needed. Just move the decimal to the right and to the left. All right, see you next time.